What's going on guys, Mototelic here, and this is a modified 2013 Subaru Forester XT with a WRX engine. Now I've had a very difficult time trying to get the video for the Subaru Forester right. For weeks I've struggled with draft after draft of scripts just to do the car justice. And apart from this being the very first episode of Mototelic's second season, there's definitely a lot riding on whatever I have to say about this Subaru. You see, no other car brand out there has the type of fans that Subaru has, and I believe that the only real people who can even begin describing the raw, guttural feeling of driving one is one who subscribes to the Church of Subaru. A few select people who have come to appreciate the brand and its models for what it is. A car brand that offers the most amount of performance without compromises. Like the Subaru Forester right here, at first glance, it may look like just another drop of water in the market saturated with crossovers and SUVs, but what the uninitiated might not know is that this is the car that all those high riding models look up to. A car that transcends segments and redefines its own. This isn't the first Subaru featured in the channel and it certainly won't be the last. Part of the appeal of Subarus to fans has got to be the performance it offers out of the box. I mean, no other car brand prides itself in their proprietary all-wheel drive system as much as Subaru, and is still, in fact, the only car company I know of with a lineup filled exclusively with all-wheel drive vehicles. BRZ notwithstanding. Now, before this footage was shot, the owner, Raf, wanted to make sure that the Forester is camera ready, so he head on over to get this thing detailed by a shop called Wet Monkeys. Now I have to say that although the factory 2013 Super Forester XT was in itself just an evolution of the previous model, not that there's nothing wrong with that, some people prefer their trucks and SUVs to look apart, and that's just the beauty of the Forester design. Its squared off design and inoffensive styling just adds more to the point that I mentioned earlier about Subaru and its fans. If you think that the Forester is just another run of the mill grocery getter, then you got another thing coming at you. Let me give you a clue, an idea of things to come. You see that pink badge right there? Now if Honda has its red badge, Subaru has its pink one. Honda's red badge evokes passion, power, and sportiness. Now in Japan, pink symbolizes gentle love, spring, and rebirth as seen on Sakura cherry blossoms. And that's why Subaru went all in and put it on the race cars. I mean, Subarus with pink badges mean serious business, and it's not about to show you some gentle love. Some exterior bits apart from the pink badge include the STI front spoiler, as well as the carbon fiber hood scoop on top, and beautiful VR Gramlite 57 getters that look pretty slick on the Subaru. A right stance is always important, not just for the looks, but for the performance as well. The inside is just packed with modifications, but somehow the owner was able to keep things nice and tidy thanks to a D5 pillar pod that fits on the driver's side A pillar. Information such as oil temperature and pressure as well as water temperature can be monitored, which is important for all the power underneath that hood. More on that later, of course. The Pioneer control unit blasts sound through performance expert series six and a half component speaker systems, further augmented by a Rockford amplifier and JL audio subwoofers. Now the combination of both additional displays as well as an advanced entertainment system just means to show you how the Subaru Forester really is. It is pretty much a daily driver as much as a show car. In a nutshell, this is the Subaru brand right there. A performance machine meant for the track, the mean streets, rough terrain, as well as a car to keep you entertained no matter the situation. Again, the pink Subaru badge makes yet another appearance on the steering wheel, which gives me another cue to stop dicking around all the niceties of the Forester. It's time for us to look under the hood and see what makes this thing tick. You see, Subarus are most well known for their advanced boxer engines. Boxer engines are well known for their impeccable weight distribution, as opposed to conventional inline fours or sixes where you have the pistons vertically laid out. Boxers have horizontally opposed engines, giving the overall engine design a more flatter profile. In effect, lowering the car's center of gravity. The lower the bulk of the weight is to the ground, the more stable and pliant the ride's gonna be. Replacing the stock engine with an FA20DIT from a 2018 Subaru RX 
opens up this Forester to a whole different world of performance parts and boy howdy does it have those in spades. The engine itself is phenomenal but the real trick is to keep everything cool as a cucumber. Heat is the enemy of performance especially with turbocharged engines. The cooler the engine and the air that gets sucked into it the better. That's why most performance modifications in the Forester is centered around engine cooling. From the Crawford air oil separator to the parent oil and transmission cooler, they work in concerted tandem to achieve the optimum operating conditions of the engine. Further modifications include Grim Speed Lightweight Pulleys, AVO Turbo World Intercooler, which now gives us a front mount instead of a top mount, as well as air intake, silicone intercool pipings, an HKS Legend Max Premium exhaust, Killer B even length heathers and catalyst downpipes, Perrin tumble generator valve, intercooler cover, pulley cover and strut bar, SCI branded battery tie down, a battery regulator from Ryan Audio that regulates the Modelite Excel battery. Whew. Okay, having the ability to rein in all these go fast bits is as, if not even more, important than having them. So the suspension systems have been reworked and reinforced with the aforementioned VR DRAM lights uh, that are shot with performance oriented Dunlop Sports Maxes. A great big brake kit, a Cusco coilovers for more aggressive stance as well as sportier handling and it even has an amazing Cusco electronic damping force controller that makes it possible to alter the Forester suspension dynamics and adjust on the fly depending on the need and condition. Now it drives like a beast. This is no longer the funky hippie station wagon it once was when it was first introduced in the 90s. It's definitely an all out street racing machine and just because it has space behind the second row it doesn't mean that you can just bully this thing on the road. The ride is punishing, no thanks to those coilovers, but it isn't that bad, and I can still imagine myself using this as a daily, but what it is, is so much more than, than that at this point. I mean, look at this. While trying to play catch up with the Subaru Forester, as with the last Subaru I featured, my car just had a really hard time, and the driver was even barely feathering the throttle. If you had reservations with the Subaru Forester standing still, it's in motion where things start to make much more sense. I tried to catch up with this car to grab the best possible shots, I really did, but at the end of the day this must be what almost every other car is right next to the Forester. Everyone's just playing catch up. And thanks so much for watching our first episode of the new season. Now, we've been gone for quite a while now, but I can still see all the comments and views that I've been getting and I can't express how thankful I am for each and every one of you. Now, if you reached this far in the video, please feel free to leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about the Subaru Forester. And if you're getting any value out of all our content, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell icon so you're alerted whenever a new video comes up. There's going to be a whole ton of content coming up, so make sure you don't miss out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.